Well, welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy, Kami, and I am back from my hopefully final uh, week long business trip of the season. I'm not expecting to have to travel again until about October, uh, at least not on a really long trip. And so, yeah, we're picking up uh, not too far after we left off in the last episode. I have done a little bit off camera stuff when it got some more iron, um, ground up some stuff to make a machining bench but i haven't actually made it yet and uh yeah pretty much uh that's it harvested a little more wood and iron so i'm on the lookout for um platinum and i haven't found any platinum in the two caves that are up in this area so there's a cave there's a cave right around in here and a cave right around in here and neither one of those caves uh, has platinum well actually one of them did but I grabbed all of it and I don't have enough to make a platinum pick uh, as you can see my Inaris pickaxe is um, only at about 20% left so if I can find one more node of platinum we're probably good uh, so I started coming this way and I found an underwater cave and so what we're gonna do is check this place out this is pretty cool actually Hopefully we can get to air before we run out of oxygen here. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. We don't run out of oxygen in this game. I'm confusing it for other games. So it comes up into this area here. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's light up our torch. And a worm there, and a worm here, and a worm here. Alright, so not seeing any platinum so far. Didn't I just kill you? Thought so. Maybe not. This is a pretty good sized cave, actually. It's going to be a worm come out of that area right there. Still don't see any platinum, though. Uh, we got a. Quite a few other, whoop, a little bit of lag going on. One thing I've noticed, oh, there's some platinum. Okay, good. One thing I've noticed is that um, my performance has been a lot better since I've been away from my base in that, that you know, area, uh, South Ring Lake area. So, um, yeah, they, there must must be some optimization or something they need to do over there and uh, I did hear another youtuber that I was watching mention something to that effect too that that area needs some optimization so that would seem to be the case okay good so we have another platinum here so that means we definitely will have enough to make a platinum pick so that way if this pickaxe you know completely wears out we're still good to go on getting the higher end ores. There's some more titanium too. I found some titanium in the other caves, so that'll be good. And you know what, what I ought to probably do is I think I think this workshop pickaxe is probably a little bit better than the than the platinum. 60 mining radius, 100. Actually, I'm not really sure. So we should go back and make the platinum pickaxe first and then compare the two. Uh, because I want to get as much of the titanium as I, you know, as much yield out of that titanium as I can. Because it's pretty, you know, relatively speaking, hard to, to come by. So we're not going to mine any of the rest of this stuff. Because we should have enough now to make the platinum pickaxe. Um, so let's head on back to the base. 
and we will make the machining bench and then we'll make the platinum pickaxe and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys back at the base. Okay guys, we are back at the base here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I got a couple things to put away here. I got some more sulfur and silicon because uh, we're going to need that to make concrete. Let's see, we have we have 23 bone arrows. Um, I think, uh, well, here, let's go ahead and get this going. And then I'm going to put all of the bones in here. Let's pull 51 of those out of there. I'm going to put uh, this meat on that rack. A little bit of salt there. Let's grab some sticks and fiber and we'll make a few more bow and arrows with what we currently have. That gets us a little over 30, which should be fine for now. Okay, let's put that, that, and that in there. We'll put the bone in here. Make another poison paste. That brings us up to seven poison antidotes. We've got some more iron in here that we'll just throw in the anvil for the moment. And then let's turn you off. Machining bench is done. Let's take the machining bench and put it right over here. Not going to fit that way, so we're going to have to put it in this way. All right, next thing we need to do is make a uh, cement mixer. So we need wood, stone, iron, rope and iron nails stone rope wood iron nails um let's pick up this stone pack or stack rather 20 iron ingots okay let's make the cement mixer that right here we're gonna need tree sap and silica ore we'll take say maybe that much and stone I have a couple more stacks of stone out here that I've been saving for making concrete so let's grab all three of those Oh shit. Don't be messing up my house, man. I killed uh, three jaguars and a bear on the way back, too, by the way. Man, he, like, does a number on the wood. Torch in here so we can see what the heck's going on. Okay. So, yeah, just make a metric crap ton of concrete there because we will need it to make the furnace. Put all that stuff back in there, put this in here. Now, to make the concrete furnace, uh, we're going to need 20 concrete mix, 12 iron, 8 rope, and 12 epoxy. So we have epoxy there. 
Don't have to make another poison paste. All right, we have some epoxy and a rope and rope there. We're going to have to make, make some more nails. So let's make... How many nails did it say we needed for that? Oh, none, none at all. We just need 12 iron ingots. Okay. Go grab a stack of those. And we just have to wait till we get 20 concrete mixer. Okay, we have our 20 concrete mix here. Let's make our furnace. And we'll just put that right here. We'll probably end up picking up the concrete or the cement mixer later. And then just setting it back down as needed. Uh, but we'll put this guy. Can we get that in the corner here? Actually? Ooh, okay. Looks like we can. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab um, a stack of wood. Got lots of wood. And now what we're going to do is throw the platinum in here and get that cooking up. And that should make us 49. Or no, this takes five per, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. How many do we need to make the platinum pick? We need 12. Okay. So yeah, we sh we'll we'll have enough. So I just I'm just gonna have to wait now and, until we get 12 ingots smelted, and then we can make ourselves the platinum pickaxe. It's the next thing on the list. Wrecked. All right, guys, we have uh, 14 platinum ingots. Let's go ahead and make ourselves platinum pickaxe and let's compare it to the Neves. So this has a 70 mining radius and 133 percent yield and is a 60 and 148 yield. So this hack has a smaller radius but it has more yield. So I think what we'll do is we'll use the Nevis for all the rest of the titanium and then we'll use the platinum for everything else. And for really cheap stuff, you know, like uh, stone, silicon, oxide, that sort of thing, we'll use. We'll continue to use the iron pickaxe. Very good. Okay, so now that we know that, let's head back up to uh, the the caves. We have one up this direction, and we'll grab all of the titanium and. Well, pretty much everything else, really. And go from there. Okay, so we have some titanium here. Let's grab this. And I think there's another titanium node in there as well. Yeah, right here. There's a third one, actually. Nice. I have a decent amount of titanium on this situation here. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it for the titanium. So now what we'll do is we'll use the platinum for everything else. Okay, here's the other cave here. Uh, we had a wolf chasing us. I don't know if he still is or not. I don't think so. Okay. I was very recently... Oh, well, never mind. I was going to say I was very recently in this cave, so we might not get three pops, but... No such luck, eh? But, like I said, it does matter. This is a very small cave. Okay, so we have a titanium node here. Um, let's see, then we have iron, aluminum, gold, copper, coal. Yeah, looks like that's it. Okay. So I'll use the platinum pickaxe for the rest of this stuff. Houston, we have a problem. I think we are stuck inside the terrain here. That is not good. I can't crouch or uncrouch. So we're going to have to go unstuck. Back out to the wolf we killed. Kill that other wolf. Alright, let's try this again. Everything else that's left in here is iron and coal. Well, we have some copper up there. Let's grab the copper and then I'll just use my Neves pickaxe to get back because we are encumbered, but... Even with that, we can't, like... Uh, there's there's a limit with that, too, I believe. I think there is, anyway. I can come back for this iron and coal later. Uh, and we are going to need it for making... You know, steel. There's what sounds like a jaguar out here somewhere. Sleep. Okay, it's morning time. We want to throw the titanium in first, then we'll put the aluminum in, then the gold. Um, I'm going to put half of this iron in here. Well, that's a, actually a little more than half. So we start making steel bloom, and then the rest of this iron we will smelt inside of there. What's that? Copper ore? Yeah, we'll throw the copper ore in here too. Okay, so I have coal in here. Let's go ahead and start making some steel bloom because we're going to need that for some stuff. We've got uh, 37 more concrete made up there. We'll put the concrete in here. That can all go in there. Okay, I'm going to run back up to that cave that we were just at and get the rest of the coal and iron, and then we're going to run back to the cave. Uh, we're going to run back to the cave that has the uh, that's under the water that has that other, uh, whatchamacallit, titanium and other stuff. Seriously? I was just here, man. What the hell? You need to get over yourself. Okay, back to the underwater cave here. Make sure there's no crocs around. Yeah, that's over here. A little further over.
Okay, let's grab the titanium with the Anaris. I think there's at least two nodes in here, if I remember right. That's coal and iron up that way. Here we go. Must be a loading thing going on in between there. Okay, I think that's it for titanium. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then I'm going to get the rest of this stuff with the uh, platinum and then I'll see you guys back at the base okay we are back at the base here let's throw um, uh, the titanium in there and the aluminum and the gold We'll put another stack of iron in here, and then I think we'll put the rest of the iron in here for some more steel bloom and the copper in here. The next thing we're going to shoot for is the fabricator. So we're going to need 30 electronics, 40 aluminum ingots, some carbon fiber screws, that sort of stuff. Uh, because I am intending to make the... Uh, the hunting rifle um, if we can pull it off which I think we can I think we'll have a, enough resources to do that um, we have 20 I think we need 40 titanium ingots and it's five per so we would need another 80 to make another 20 and um, no we would need four yeah, we need another 100 to make another 20. Right? Is it 5 per? So we're going to have to find some more titanium if we're going to make be able to make the hunting rifle. But I don't think there are any more caves in this forest biome, which means we're going to have to go um, out into the desert biome or, or up into the snow biome to find the rest of the titanium, which we can do. It's a, we can certainly do that if we have to. Um, okay, yeah, so that's kind of where we are at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, guys, and just kind of keep on working on stuff. And um, I might not bring you back until we're ready to actually continue the quest itself, or I might. We'll see. We'll just kind of see how things go. Just depends upon if I feel like... Uh, we have more camera-worthy stuff to do before we get to that point. Uh, nevertheless, we are going to wrap up the episode here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.